Hello, my name is Amir Rashid. So today in this video, I'm going to show you the procedure on how to insert a rectal suppository. So rectal suppository is used to help stimulate the bowel movements of a patient or to help a minister of medicine. But for administering medical suppository, it can only be done by a nurse. So the items needed for this procedure is a bath towel, gloves, the suppository, a couple of toilet tissues, a bed protector, a lubricant, and also in some cases, a um, bed pen is also needed. Okay. okay, so first of all, to start our procedure, we'll go to the patient and see what we, uh, what we are doing today. So, hello sir, today I'm going to insert a rectal suppository into you, so I would like to kindly ask for your cooperation. So, first of all, we cover the patient with our bed, uh, bed blanket. So let me get here. And here we cover him. And next we can move on to washing our hands and putting on our gloves. So uh, let's say I wash my hands and now I'm putting on my gloves. After doing so, we can then put our bed protector underneath the patient's hip to prevent any sort of fluid that may leak during this procedure and that may soil the bed. So, sir, you should please. Yes. So now, putting on, uh, after placing the bed protector, we can ask the patient, we can reposition the patient so that he is on his right side with his left leg flexing a bit so that we can easily expose the buttocks and expose the anus so sir, I will position you a bit so if you feel any discomfort, please tell okay. here we are flexing his leg okay. okay, after doing that, we can then unwrap the suppository here and we then uh, using our left hand we'll go to the buttocks next and spread them to expose the anus and then we can get a, a small amount of lubricant so that we can put it on the anus and both the suppository after that we can gently insert the suppository into the patient's anus we uh, gently insert it around about two inches in beyond the anus sphincter Okay, now sir, I'm going to insert the suppository. If you feel any discomfort, please say so. Okay. After doing so, you can remove your gloves. Okay. Well, and discard them properly, and then you will wash your hands to maintain the hygiene. Now, you can help the patient to go back to a more comfortable position. Yes, sir. Sir. After which, you would uh, generally leave a sort of signal cord near the patient's hand so that if uh, when the patient needs to defecate comes or if he feels any sort of discomfort, we can go ahead and check on him. We generally check about uh, every five minutes or so on the patient. And once the need for the patient's need for defecation has arisen, then we can go assist the patient towards the bathroom. Or if the patient aren't able to go to the bathroom, we will use the, uh, a bed time. So now, uh, after which we will check the stools to see if there are any abnormalities. If so, we will inform the nurse. And if not, then we can discard the stool, and we will uh, wash any equipment that are reusable. And after the end of the procedure, we can do the uh, normal ending uh, actions. And that's it. So thank you.